What's a fun little fact about yourself? I turned 11 on the 11th of November 11. Edit the 11th of November 11 for the non-Americans. I played baby Jesus in a play. I slept through it, a recurring theme in my life. I was born without wisdom teeth. If I go to a new dentist they often look at the x-rays and comment that I had my wisdom teeth removed. Nope. Never had any. Or the next step in our evolutionary lineage. I turned legal drinking age in the place where I lived at the time three times in my life. First when I was 16. Then when I was 17 they increased the legal age to 18. So I turned legal drinking age again when I was 18. When I was 20 I moved to where legal drinking age is 21. So I had to wait a couple of months again. I missed the bombing of the Boston Marathon because I had a bad headache and decided loud noises would be a bad thing. Edit, when I say loud noises I meant the people who decide they need to cheer at everything. I actually do remember your name. Birthday. What you like, dislike. When we first met, everything. It's just that people find it really creepy and I've learned it's better to act one forgot rather than know we met each other on a rainy day in October when you held the door open for me and made a bad joke about how the weather is for the birds. Oh, to have such a powerful memory. A wish. Truth I can only remember what people did to me. Usually bad things. And random facts about my interests. I had the global high score in Temple Run 2 for about 15 minutes. I don't have the screenshot anymore unfortunately. Edit, not a literal 15 minutes but it wasn't very long. I was born at 25 weeks. 1 pound and 10 ounces with zero birth defects. 24 years old happy and healthy. Amazing. It was complete miracle. Another extremely odd circumstance and I am not bullshitting you. But bear with this story. In the 1970s my city opened its first children's cancer ward and my aunt was the only survivor of leukemia out of 86 children. Granted the process to get into remission took was longer than nowadays. Out of my NICU I was only the premature baby out of 30 in my cycle to come out unscathed. I was the last patient for the same doctor who took my aunt in as his first cancer patient. According to my mum, the first time I was ever in front of a TV was when 9-11 happened. Better not watch TV again. I was clinically dead, twice. Please say there is backstory to this. There was a seizure and I woke up in the back of an ambulance and everybody looked so damn relieved. Despite being gone for a few minutes, I hopped out of the ambulance when it arrived at the hospital and the doctors were like nah bro you ain't walking that off. Spent three weeks in there. I was nine years old. Month later, same thing happened. Then I got onto heavy medication and thankfully haven't had a seizure since. I'm completely healthy and turning 22 in a few weeks. I have two pet frogs that are likely older than most people in this thread. Oh damn, I'm 20. How do your frogs compare to me? In the year 2045, I will be 67 and my birthday will be January 23rd 45 and I will be 67. Throwing a big party. Edit, yes you all can come, bring a hot dish. I have a tooth in the roof of my mouth. I had no idea it was there until I was 17 and my dentist was baffled. The refuse to remove it because they say it's not hurting me. I can suck in air through my left eye socket. Weird flex, but okay. I'm physically incapable of feeling dizziness. Now that's interesting. I can cry or throw up on command. Edited to say, or, instead of, and. Too many complaints about wording. I have no sense of smell and never had. Whenever I tell this to people, their response falls into one of three categories. One, that's so unfortunate. You don't know how good X smells. Two, you're so lucky. You don't have to know how X smells. Three, so if I fart in your face you won't notice? I've yet to receive a different response aside from those. And you'd be surprised how many unrelated people told me N.3. It's impressive lol. I write in my journal every day since 2009. So I have an account of all my thoughts since the past 10 years. And I can see how I grew as a person since I was 15. Sometimes I cringe when I read something from back then. I have no pericardium. When I was 6 months old. I had bad acid reflux. And DRs were concerned about damage to my esophagus. One CT scan later. My esophagus was okay. But they saw a hole in my pericardium which is the sack of protective fat around the heart. Now this is a problem because as I would grow up, my heart could start to grow through the hole and choke itself at some point, killing me out of the blue. So at seven months old I had heart surgery. They went in all ready to patch the hole, only to find what had looked like a hole on the scan was actually the pericardium, all of it that formed at least. I am one of 23 people at that time, if I remember correctly, who had been found to have this while alive and not post-mortem during autopsy. 
It removed the small piece that was all that had formed on gestation. So I have no pericardium. It does not affect me negatively in any way. And I am immune to pericardial diseases, not that many exist to my knowledge. I tried to get into a military academy. So had to see a cardiologist to get certification that it was a non-issue. He confirmed I could do anything I wanted. Heart health wise. DODMERB didn't change their decision though. DLDR. I don't have a sack of fat around my heart unlike most people. Edit, fracked this blew up. Thought it would get buried. First post to get more than 50 upvotes. And I only stopped being a lurker and make an account a few weeks ago. I'll try to answer the questions I can. But be aware I'm no medical professional. Damn it Jim. I'm an engineer. Not a doctor. Edit 2. Added note about DODMERB decision. They didn't change their mind. Still had a gestational heart defect in their minds. I still have a large scar below my man bob and three small parallel lower down from endoscope exploratory I was told. I have a small patch of perfectly white hair just above my cooch. It was once described as looking like my VAJ was cosplaying as Rogue from X-Men. I really love polishing things. But only when I don't have to. Like, if I have to polish the silver because fancy company is coming. Or my shoes for an upcoming event. Don't want to do it. If I'm just polishing the silver because it's something I want to do. Then I'll enjoy it and take my time. I was top 5 worldwide in Minecraft Classic CTF for a time. Gomi? Edit, well man. This really blew up. This was back in classic days. Servers were Jacob underscore SCTF and Vexilum Gaming. Jacob underscore S is still going strong but the original leaderboards were lost in server, site transitions. IGN was masked. I haven't played in a while but I think there's still a small scene. I can plug my nose with my lips. It's a watertight seal so I use it when I swim which means I look ridiculous while swimming. 50% of the time. I can get all the coins in Super Mario 3. World 1 to 4. Resulting in the appearance of the white mushroom shop. Edit, I stand corrected, I said ghost ship. I meant white mushroom shop. I do both. But I'm proud of the 1 to 4 challenge. 1 to 3 is where you get the secret whistle. For those correcting the level. That I think of good jokes about every bad situation automatically. But usually don't say them. I can touch my elbows together. Wrong way. I have mastered moving my eyes independently because when I was 6 a Discovery Channel video of a chameleon told me I couldn't do it. I can draw the map of Middle Earth from memory alone. I also remember the opening lyrics of every single cartoon I watched as a child. Talk about selective memory.